Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This time we're talking about a brand new lens that we just got in day one. This is the Canon 24 to 105 f 2.8 all the way through. Finally, the unicorn of lenses. It is here and we're gonna talk about it right now. So, this Canon 24 to 105. This is a great range, especially it covers full frame. Performs really well across the board in full frame. So if you're shooting Super 35 or full frame, this range is never going to be not exciting. I mean, you got your wides, your mids, your tights, all in one lens. Really great construction on this. It's weather sealed. It has the control ring on the front. It is RF mount. So if you are only going to be running this on one system that uses RF mount. So basically you've got your reds, like we've got it here on the Red Raptor. So work on the Komodo, Komodo X, Red Raptor, Red Raptor, the Rhino version of the Super 35. Uh, this will also work on obviously any of Canon's RF mount uh, cameras like the R5C, the C70, any of their other new mirrorless style RF mount hybrid cameras and all the new versions of Canon's cinema cameras are also most likely going to be RF mount as well. Now, it's an 11 blade iris. There are three aspheric elements in here and this is a combination of fluorine, SSD and ASC coatings on these. And it really does look great. It has that typical uh, warm, nice skin tone that Canon's uh, known for. But what's really interesting about this lens is the close focus is really, really, really good on it. All the way from 24 to 105, it really does a great job getting super close. And not only that, it has built-in image stabilization as well as you can utilize autofocus on it. So this is a really great hybrid lens. It's gonna work great for video and photo. Now all you need might be just a couple ring gears on here and this is gonna make a really nice lens for cinema. That being said, there are no hard stops on this lens for focus. Now if you are going to use a wireless follow focus, you just need to be aware of that up front. And that might be the only real weakness that this lens has when you're talking about it from a video aspect. Now, we're just gonna run through a couple things here really quickly. We're gonna do a studio test at a handful of focal lengths, wide open and at four, and just kind of see how it performs there, as well as, you know, do the normal things where we look at breathing, edge sharpness, center sharpness, all of that stuff. Then we're gonna go out, shoot a little footage on the street. It is a very crappy day here in Seattle, so we'll see what we get out there. But then we're gonna move this lens onto the R5C and just go shoot some quick stills and see how it performs there as well. So let's get into some test footage and we'll wrap it up when we get back.
And there you have it. That is the Canon 24 to 105 f2.8 lens. This thing really is going to be a beast when you're talking about events, doc stuff, corporate work. Really, this thing is going to be a stellar packet and take it anywhere. Gimbal lens, even the fact that this does all its uh, focusing internally, you're not gonna have to worry about the, the front shifting. All in all, this is just going to be a really nice revolutionary new starting ground for a great photo video hybrid lens. Canon really went all out with this and it shows. It performs great on Raptor, performs great on the R5C and the autofocus built into this is incredible as well. So $3,000, that's what you're gonna pay for this lens and I think that is a steal of a deal for what this lens offers this day and age. So thank you so much for watching. If you are looking for rentals in the Pacific Northwest, this lens and the other one we bought are now available for rentals if you want to try it out. But with that, thanks so much. Remember, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.